The Ministry of Finance is set to roll out a communications plan to address concerns over the property tax. Finance Minister Con Imbert says ministers will be available to answer questions posed by the media. Now, speaking at today's post-cabinet media briefing, he says there are two pieces of legislation which govern properties and taxation of land in Trinidad and Tobago, the evaluation of land tax and the property tax, which took effect in 2009 to 2010. Now, Mr. Imbert says the current initiative seeks to have owners file a return and give details as to the value and purpose for which the property is used. But the initiative that is in progress right now is a precursor to the actual assessment notice that property owners will receive telling them what is the assessed rental value of their property and what is the tax that they have to pay. And when sovereign nations have a negative outlook by prominent rating agencies, reviews are done annually to gauge the nation's progress. So says Minister of Finance, Colm Imbert, as he commented on this country's latest Moody's downgrade. He explained that TNT got a negative outlook in 2015, which resulted in annual reviews. Minister Imbert seemed carefully optimistic as he noted that Standard & Poor's review adjusted the outlook from negative to stable and lowered the investment rating from A- to B reasons based significantly on the fiscal consolidation work being done by the new PNM administration since we came in and in this context fiscal consolidation means trying to bring the accounts into balance trying the finance minister said Trinidad and Tobago has suffered a severe loss of income since 2014 an estimated 20 billion dollar decrease he says the difference could ha only be made up by cutting expenditure through the reduction of subsidies and transfers, borrowing and the recovery of money from colonial life. Now, Minister Imbert further stated that Moody's, a more conservative agency than Standards & Poor's, said expenditure should have been slashed even more. Well, over 270 rounds of assorted ammunition and a quantity of cocaine is in the possession of the Interagency Task Force Strike Team. The items were found during an anti-crime exercise in the Port of Spain district. No one was arrested in the connection with the find. The exercise was carried out between 6 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday at the Nelson Street Plannings in Port of Spain. A search of the roof of apartment B, building 47 to 49, resulted in the discovery of 29 rounds of 20-gauge shotgun cartridges, while a search of the roof of apartment C, building 59 to 61, yielded 85 grams of cocaine. The officers later carried out searches in the vicinity of building 35 to 37, leading to the discovery of a black plastic bag containing 245 rounds of 0.22 millimeters ammunition, along with five rounds of 0.9 millimeter ammunition. Well, French prosecutors are investigating the bidding process for the 2018 and 2022 World Cups and have questioned former FIFA president Sepp Blatter. France's National Public Prosecutor's Office began examining the bid to award the tournaments to Russia and Qatar res respectively last year. Now, Blatter was spoken to by investigators on Thursday, April 20th, as a witness. In March, FIFA passed on evidence to Swiss and United States authorities whose own investigations into alleged corruption at football's governing body began two years ago. And here's a check of your weather. Trinidad, Tobago and the remainder of the Lesser Antilles Predominantly hot, sunny and hazy conditions are expected despite the odd brisk shower in a few areas. Tonight will be mostly clear but warm. A hot spell alert is still in effect. Now, due to the presence of Saharan dust, persons with asthma and other respiratory illnesses or allergies are asked to take the necessary precautions. Seas are slight to normal with waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters. They are near calm in sheltered areas. That was your seniors update. I'm Stacey Ann Providence. Have a good afternoon.